Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you a number of different ways of creating a vectored image. I'm going to be breaking down these videos into different parts and that way you can watch the parts that you're interested in and the parts you already know how to do you can basically skip. So this is called uh, color vectoring and this is part one in my little series of vectoring. Vectoring is basically taking an image file and adding cut lines so your die cutter can cut it out. Now I'm using the Funtime Deluxe software. So in this software we have some new features. Uh, you'll notice over here there's a magnifying glass and it's got these little black boxes around it. So if I were to click on any portion and then click on this magnifying glass, it will automatically zoom into whatever image is selected. And that's a really nice little feature to have since it makes it just a little bit easier. I'm just going to move this over here and you can see when I move this file there is a box that's around it. The software will see that box and it will also vectorize the box. So let's begin. All you need to do is click on the auto vectorization button and if you have the puzzles inspiration you should have either the word auto or the word trace. You probably have a different looking icon but it's basically the same button. It does the same things. It just looks a little different. Um, since this bear has a lot of curves, I'm going to leave it beside Bege, which is what it is at now, and I'm just going to click on the bear. So if you noticed, I didn't click on any of these buttons over here. I went straight to Auto Trace and then clicked on my image. Now I am using a JPEG that is very pixelated, and if I go to the one-to-one -one ratio, you can see how pixelated it is. I could easily increase the color intensity. However, because the image is so pixelated, it's going to make layers and layers of colors. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it at 2 and click on OK and the software will start vectorizing it. Now, if you remember, I showed you there was a box around this image. I'm just going to start clicking on this portion of the box and pressing the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of it because I do not need it. I've got the image now and it's on the right hand side and I can easily move out different portions of this teddy bear uh, just to show you that it is a true cutting file. What I'd like to do is to go into wireframe and just look for some stray lines. You'll get them occasionally. Now if you look at the eye, I've got a stray line, I've got a stray line over here, and I've got a couple of stray lines happening over here. To get rid of those, all you need to do is just start at the outside of your um, image file and you're just going to draw an imaginary box and let the software grab it and then you delete. And I'm going to do the same thing for this portion over here and then I noticed another one um, that was just starting right over there and we've got another one here. Now that all of those are gone, I can now easily leave the file as it is and cut it out. Uh, of course I would have to change the line color if I was leaving it in this exact position. I could also um, remove portions of the file and put it to the side and then cut it out. And if I wanted to color fill it, perhaps I want to do a print and cut, it's very easy to do if I want to have the exact same colors from this teddy bear into here. All you basically need to do is click on the color that you want to select and that you want to color fill. Click on the eyedropper in the color box and just click with your left mouse button anywhere on the color you want to steal. Now you can name your color file, but I just click on OK. I just find naming it a kind of a waste of time. Now you'll see that the color I've stolen from this teddy bear is automatically under the color uh, sorry, under the letter B, and that's the color fill. If I left click with my mouse button on this color, it will fill the color that is selected. If I want to do the rest for the teddy bear, while this image is selected, I hold down my shift key and I left click on any portions that are red. And by doing this, it is basically just um, taking all of these colors and grouping them up. I can now let go of my shift key and then I go over to this portion over here and I left click and everything then fills with that color. And you can do basically the same thing for the shirt, the insides of the mouth and uh, the rest of the, the little hair that's on top which is so cute. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer to this file 
I want to show you the difference. We've got a very pixelated image that is the original over here and then we've got the nice smooth lines that are over here. Uh, let's just zoom out again and this time what I'm going to do, I'll just zoom into his eyeball really quick. You'll notice that the eyeball is not perfectly round. There is a way to change that. Click on the oval and when you click on the oval you get this new submenu at the top of the screen. If you click on this portion here which is called convert to circle, you hold it down with your left mouse button. If you now click on this image, you'll have a perfect circle. And you'll notice here too that this is not exactly a perfect circle and now we have a nice beautiful eyeball. So basically that is how you vectorize in color. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.